Now let's take a look at what needs to happen in order for us to get an alt season. Oops, not on there. For us to get an alt season, right? We're taking a look here on the weekly chart for Bitcoin. All we need is Bitcoin to break above its 20 week moving average. Now the 20 week moving average basically is where the week candle started here for Bitcoin. What I would like to see is Bitcoin close on the weekly and push down the Bollinger Bands a bit. If it pushes down the Bollinger Bands a bit, right, it brings more room to the downside here um, going into December. Um, but that 20 week moving average is at $20,600, right? So Bitcoin would have to get back above that 20,600, basically this area that if we go to the daily chart, we've seen Bitcoin basically tre uh, trend, uh, threading this line here right for quite an extended period of time so we need to come back and beat back above that level uh hitting it so we might get right if bitcoin really did a, a big bounce here right and then we came into a, the, the second half of the 68 cycle and came back down to new lows if we had that much volatility right we might see an alt season here for like mm, like a week max right you're probably not going to see it too long as long as bitcoin stays in this range Right. So alt season, probably not looking like it's going to be happening too much this year. So that what does that make you think? Right. That should make you think that you want to stay closer right to the coins that are essentially um, long term stuff that you're not really doing too much short term uh, speculation on. Right. So that's Bitcoin, Ethereum and then maybe a few other altcoins.